Hello, I welcome you to the RBG show. So, you probably wanna play some old PlayStation 2 games, perhaps you wanna play Call of Duty, or maybe some exclusives like God of War, but you don't have a PlayStation 2 anymore, or you just don't wanna hook up your PlayStation 2. Now, I got a simple and fast solution to your problems. Today, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up probably the best PlayStation 2 emulator on the PC. By the way, at the end, I wanted to go that extra mile for you, and I prepared a comparison video between the native emulator on the PC, the 4K resolution and the native PlayStation 2 resolution so you have a clear view what's best for you. Now to not waste any time let's jump straight to the tutorial video. Please remember that the performance of the emulator will heavily depend on the capabilities of your system. For reference, the setup I am using currently will be displayed on the left and the setup that is recommended is displayed on the right. Now with that out of the way, let's start with step 1 and that's the download and installation of the emulator. First step is go to the page in the description which sends you to your emulator's homepage. Now on this page you can look up various things about the emulator, but what important now is that we go to the download page. Now, we can see various systems that are supported, as I have a Windows operating system, I will select that. Now it will move us to the next page, where we can click on the download button and download the installation. If the installation doesn't appear here, you will need to go to your download folder and start it from there. Click on the installation, now this will pop up. Don't be scared kids, it's just German. I'm having a German version of Windows. Basically Windows is here asking the approval of the administration, where you can just agree, just click yes. It's a pretty easy and simple installation and if you ever install the software you will know what to do. Now after the installation this pretty window will pop up. Now again, don't be scared, it's just German. But if you have some other language selected on your operating system, the emulator will pre-select it for you. But I will be good to you today and I will change from German to English. Now here you will see two links and these two links are your best friend and will help you with the problems and questions you have. So if you run into something that worries you, jump on those pages and look it up. So let's go to the next window and you will see bunch of stuff. Don't worry, you don't need to change a thing here. Everything is selected to maximal compatibility so you can move to the next window. Where you will need to select your BIOS. So the emulator isn't bundled with a BIOS because it's illegal because you will need to use your BIOS from your PlayStation 2. But there is also alternative option to look it up somewhere on Google. Now when you manage to get a hold on a BIOS you will simply need to put the BIOS in the folder of the emulator which is located in your documents on your PC. Then just click on refresh and the BIOS will appear. Now click on finish and we are ready to go. Ok not quite yet let's tweak a few things. First go to the configuration, under emulator settings, speed hacks and now this option will appear. And now this option you will need to select, but only if you have 3 or more CPUs. In my example I have 10, so I will select this option to get a better experiment. And that's everything we will do in this video, so you can click on apply and ok. Now let's go to the menu where the magic happens. Again configuration, video and plugin settings. This is where you will be spending most of your time playing with the emulation options. The only thing you will need to worry about are the renderer, internal resolution and an anisotric filtering. Sometimes you will also need to change your renderer. The pre-selected is the best option for you probably, but feel free to play around. Because you can't break the emulator, just go back to the default and you're ready to go. I'm sorry to say, but I can't tell you a magic formula, because every PC runs a bit different and almost every game is a bit different, so you need to experiment. The same settings is with your resolution, now remember, the better the graphics you want, the stronger PC you need. Let's move on to the other things. Under configuration there are two more settings, first being the controller where you can change the layout, quick notice is the emulator will most likely do it straight out of the box so to say. As for my Xbox control the emulator detected it at first glance. And now there is also a audio option where you can tweak few things if you run into some problems. But as I said it's normally configured to the maximal compatibility what works on most systems. Now you have everything selected and you wanna play something. Then we are going to the last step and that's to select your ISO image. 
Now, go under CD DVD, ISO selector and select your games wherever they are on your PC. And if you select more than one game, you can change them directly in the emulator. And when you selected your game, hit the system, hit boot ISO boot full and you're ready to go. Now, to show you a few comparisons video, for the first video I have chosen Tourist Trophies, basically Gran Turismo 4 with just motorbikes. I wanted to give you a native image from a PlayStation 2 to compare to the native PlayStation 2 from the emulator and of course compare with the 4K option, but somehow I got a black and white screen, I don't know what happened. But then I hooked a upscaler on my PlayStation 2, so let's see the difference between an upscaled PlayStation 2, the native option on the emulator and the 4K option on the emulator. I mean the difference is huge. Just comparing the native with the 4K is amazing. It is really amazing what the emulator is capable of. But the cheap adapter from Amazon is somehow having a red color palette on it. Or I'm colorblind, I don't know. Please tell me your comments down below. But it's easily seen how everything is looking much smoother and much cleaner with the 4K on. Now I wanna look at Call of Duty, so you don't say I staged the thumbnail photo, because the difference in this game is also huge. But remember, some games come better out and some don't, but in Call of Duty is a really huge difference, because the view distance is much better. And once again, everything looks just sharper and more cleaner. Now, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial video. If you're interested how to play PlayStation 1 games up to 4K, I have a link down below of my video. It's a bit rough, but I hope you like it. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider checking out my Patreon. Remember to share and like the video. Subscribe if you're new. I have content coming out every week. And I want to hear your opinions. What's the best solution for you? An emulator or a native PlayStation 2? Now, that's all for me now. i see you in the next one. Snorky, over and out.